Hey guys, Dragon here with uh, Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, this game's been out for a while, but I only got into it more recently. Um, I've been enjoying it, so I thought I'd do a little video on it. So, uh, let's begin, shall we? New game. Oh, I was probably doing some. Ah, oh, whatever. Sure, new game. This is a spaceship, and it's uh, flying. And uh, it's getting shot. Looks like the crew number's going down. Oh, that's not good. Losing up. Oh, I think this is the escape pod. Alright. Uh, I have all the characters unlocked already, but you'll probably have none of them. Uh, well, you have the base guys, so either choose two of them or just do random. Um, for unlocking, too easy is a really easy way to unlock stuff. Easy is actually a bit harder. Um, I will do easy just so uh, it makes it more likely that I will lose and you guys can all laugh at me. Uh, easy with two randoms. Let's see how we do. Bam! Wah, 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 crash. So, this is a bad position to be in, but, you know, gotta adapt. Sometimes your escape pod goes down and blows up. Um, in a dungeon. Could happen. Alright, so I got two tanks. I actually like both these guys, but I would never choose them uh, together, because they're both pretty tanky characters. Alright, so I'm underground here, and we're going to go into the first room, because that's what you do. There's guys, so we'll murder them. Uh, middle mouse button will light up the room. Now, you can only light up so much rooms. Uh, the top here, this is your dust count, and for each of these... Uh, little protrusions uh, is one room you can light up. You get dust by exploring and by killing enemies. Um, every time you open a door, <coughs> it kind of passes a turn, and each turn it'll give you a certain amount of resources, which are listed here. To get more of those resources, you build things called uh, the... Uh, what are these called? Modules. So I always start with the industrial one because industrials used to build everything. All modules are built with industrial, so having more industrial uh, early on is good. Put one there, and I'm going to send my guys to this next room. It's a big room, no doors. Enemies to murder. I'm going to lay up this room too. The reason you want to lay up rooms is because uh, if a room isn't lit and you open a door, there's a chance that monsters will spawn in the unlit rooms, so you want to light them all, or as many as you possibly can. I'm going to put another module, oh, God damn it, that's right, this is normal. Okay, we can't put another module yet. So we're going to leave this room lit, and we're going to head up north. Small room. Item. Okay, good. I like items. What did we get? Strainer. Decent. Uh, this will probably... What has it got? Defense. This is a decent tanking item. Uh, I don't think she can wear armor. No, she can't, so it'll go to him. Good job, buddy. Light up the room. Uh, you can hold shift and click to light up multiple dudes, or you can just hit the tilde key and light up everyone. Go north. Uh, this room gave me dust and some industry. Uh, I'm on turn four. So it is risky to build uh, this late game, because um, you never know how many doors will be in the first dungeon. Sometimes they're really small. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to build. Hopefully it's a good chance. I generally build two industrial on level one, uh, just because I like to uh, hit the ground running in level two. Uh, this room cannot be lit up, so the trick now is to leave someone behind, because if there's someone in the room, stuff can't spawn there. So we're going to check out this room. 
merchant. Merchant, uh, whenever you hit a merchant, it'll never spawn in other rooms as far as I've seen, so merchant is always good to find. Uh, it does have swords, uh, so I can buy one of those for my dude. I think I'm going to wait and see uh, how I'm doing at the end of the level. I got enough dust from that to light this up. So, if I leave the merchant here alone, there's a chance he can get spawned on and I don't want to lose him. So I'm going to bring him in here and have my guy go this way. room and bring him over here. Move this guy in this way. There's the exit. Sweet. Uh, so I'm going to check out the other rooms just because I want to spawn more uh, industrial for myself. Um, but for now I'm going to leave her here so anything that spawns in this room will come this way, and uh, she will be able to defend the merchant. I could put down some turrets, I'm not going to, because I'd rather save up industry at this point. That guy is level 1 still. Uh, I might remedy that, because he is getting beat up a little. Now he's level 2. What did that give me? Uh, so this guy likes being around friends, uh, he gets passive bonuses when he is, sadly that's not an option right now. Um, I'm going to turn this room off and light this room up because I don't want monsters spawning in here because then they could just walk through to my core and that would be bad. You always want to kind of keep things so that the line is going through defenses, which at this point is my guy here. It's a little bit risky, I should probably build guns, but I'm gonna... Oh, we got a spawn, so... Back to the room. Help with the murdering. Come out here, don't let things get away or they'll go attack your spawn, which makes you lose dust, which is really bad. So, um... This is a pretty good strategy. When you're playing this game, you want to kind of think in this way, like, okay, where's the line going to my uh, core here? Uh, okay, what rooms can I defend? Uh, and what rooms can I leave turned off that will lead into that room so it forces monsters to spawn and go through a certain area? Uh, it's getting a little bit rough now because I'm kind of running out of things to do to prevent spawns. One trick you can use is as soon as you get into a room, run back out, and things will not spawn here. See, like, if I hadn't done that, they would have spawned there. Come back here, help your dude. Always help with murder. Murder's more fun when you do it with friends. Murder of aliens, not anyone else. Because fuck those aliens and their biting my shins. Alright, this is a research stone. Uh, if I had taken science, I could have upgraded to this, which would have been really good. Unfortunately, I didn't because I wasn't sure if that would have been an option. That's okay. We can get it later. It doesn't change uh, right away. So this is getting really risky here. Um, in fact, well, I really want to keep... You know what? Can I buy that sword? I want your sword. I don't care about protecting you. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the sword. It's not great, um, but it'll give me a little boost. And I'm gonna move... Uh, I mean, you gotta make choices like this in the game. Because you can't just... Uh, you can't just leave uh, rooms undefended. So, this... Uh, well, you know what, keep it open, it's fine. Keep the spawns at least out of there. So now, there could be possibly four rooms worth of spawns, which might be really bad. I'm taking a risk here. I might have wanted to build more turrets. 
Uh, we'll see what happens. However, I do still have my cooldowns. So if things get really hairy, I can do stuff like this. Oh, she's still level 1. Alright, so if your guy gets low like that, keep an eye on his health, but if he gets really low, start walking him out of the room, because uh, once he gets out of the room, the monsters will forget about him generally and uh, keep going for the other defenders of the core. Alright, so that was the last room in the dungeon. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have researched something. I wasn't paying attention. Actually, the narrow stone would be good. Yeah, if, uh, if you ever find one of these, make sure you're researching something. The only thing is, if I had done the narrow stun, I might have lost the uh, industry too. So, I didn't want to risk it. Alright, for the run to the end, this is a really scary setup right here. Because there's going to be a lot of spawns coming in from the north. And both these guys are really friggin' slow. One of the bad things about doing random. Can I level her up? I cannot. Yeah, not a good starting pair. One of these guys with someone else would be much better. Alright, go! Get the fuck out! Shift to highlight him so he can get ready to run. Oh, you know what? I should have put him in the last room so he couldn't get spawns there. Alright, whatever. He'll be fine. We're almost there. Last room, maybe he can't get spawns. I'm curious. Let's see if he can spawn over. Oh, he can. Okay. Uh, exit. So that's basically the first level of the game. Um, I thought the in laws were painful. Some good dialogue right there. Uh, it does definitely get harder. Um, Generally, it's good to choose a team uh, with one guy being more uh, wit savvy, so he can operate the modules to get more resources, and the other guy being kind of the fighter. And then uh, hopefully, you find a tank somewhere. And just build your team with uh, whatever spawns, because I mean, pretty much any tile can spawn, so or any uh, any guy can spawn that you can recruit. Play for a little bit longer. Uh, the south. Hey, dust. Goody. Alright, so I have a bit of a uh, bonus now. I'm at 93 because I did a bunch of uh, industry generators, which puts me in a pretty good position for building now. Go this way. Ooh, nine, a chest, and another spawn thing to build another. Actually, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a food. Well, actually, I might need science. I'll do a science and then a food. I usually do three of these things unless I have a ton of extra industry. Um, usually one of each, kind of depending on where my numbers are at. So, I know you might be thinking, well, why don't you go to the next room now? But actually, I'm going to go up, because I want to leave this sealed off for now, so this industry thing can just do its thing, produce uh, science unhindered. If I open this door, then later on I have to come back, there might be rooms over here that are unlit, and then this thing could get attacked. Don't want to deal with that, so I'll just go north. Light him up. And let's get a food replicator in here. I took a pretty good hit to my industry, but I'm still at a decent amount. Three turns in, and these are going to produce uh, produce resources for the rest of the level. So it's a pretty good place to be. And I think I'm going to expand from... Hang on. Four here, four here, two here. This is a bigger room. I'll expand from here. I can build more defenses. Uh, so when I say expand, I'm going to go through the doors. Um, if I need to, I can turn rooms off and put defenses in here. Uh, and all the enemies will be funneled through here because they have to get through here to get to here. So this is a good starting point. Random blank room. 
Oh, it's a research crystal. Good placement, I don't have to worry about getting attacked. We'll start researching an upgrade for my generator. Just enough science. Alright, so now we're out of dust, so we gotta... Ah, oh, damn it. Another research station. Okay, well, he'll stay there. And, oh, I guess... We don't got... I hate these guys. So these fuckers will just keep going for... your core, no matter what. So... You just gotta get down here and fucking kill them. Took some of my dust, asshole. Alright, so I can't light these rooms up right now, but what I can do is stick some shitty defenses in here for now. Or what might be better, what's my food at? Let's level her up. Oh wait, that's right. What does this do? Placebo's pretty good. I'm gonna give that to her. Wish she could use armor. So I'm gonna leave her in here. And I'm gonna give her... a prisoner prod defense. Which is a kind of turret. Which will shoot at enemies that come in. Oh, I forgot to level her up. Level up! Oh, we got spawns. Oh, wrong character. Murder! I hate these guys. Murder, murder. Okay. That's why it's nice to have a Neurostun module. Alright, what can we research? Absolutely nothing. Alright, we're seven doors in, no power source. Uh, fortunately, there's not much we can do right now. I might put another shooting thing. when they hit this even once because it fucks with your dust count which is the most important thing. Losing dust is really bad and leads to basically game loss. I really want to save up for this but it will take a while. I'll try it. I'll be greedy. Nothing bad that happens to greedy people. They always do fine. Oh, new person. Awesome. She's a base character still. Always have a full party if you can help it. Uh, she can do repair. Uh, okay, good. We got enough dust to lay another room. Thank the fucking lord. Thank goodness. Uh... Alright, I'm in a really bad spot here, because these can all spawn monsters if I get unlucky. And easy as speed. There's the exit. Oof, no monsters spawn, that's, that's amazing. I could go for the exit. Hell with that, I want more stuff. I want more stuff. I really wish I could light up this room so I can move them over to, like, here. Maybe I'll get dust in the next room. Well, we'll try it. Did I get dust? I didn't get dust. I did get spawns, though. Oh, boy! Alright, this is gonna require some maneuvering. 
No spawns up here. Good. Everyone. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper now. I have placebo, so that will heal my tank. Heal everyone, actually. I really like placebo. It's an awesome skill. That wasn't too bad. And it gave us some stuff. Okay, so that room's lit. Awesome. We now have more of a beachhead here. We don't have to worry about assholes coming in and raping, breaking our shit. Okay, let's check this out. Hey, dust. Not enough to light up a room. We're gonna fall back because generally. Oh, okay, there was no spawn. That's good. Uh, it's good to fall back anyway and fight everything in the same room. Don't risk. Uh, Getting yourself killed in the hallways. Wah. Love that sound. The sound that everything's gonna be okay. Dust? Maybe? Oh, did we get enough? Yes, we did. So I can prevent a spawn from happening there if spawns were gonna occur. They did not. I also think I can go and research. Oh, hang on, in here, buddy. Ah, oh, one turn away. Oh, he got low. into the dungeon of the endless you guys kind of get the idea but I'll, I'll play through this level at least uh, this is getting really dangerous I should build defenses in here but I'm probably well you know what I have 111 I'm gonna build some defenses how many rooms do we have left could be all right you know what there's possibly one room left I'm gonna chance it I still got cooldowns on my characters. That might be a spawn, so we're gonna go back. Uh, it is not, which is good. Uh, was that the last door? Oh, I think it was. Damn it. I wanted to get my science too. So I'd have to do it next level. Get in there, get him. You asshole! Fucking assholes! Was that? Yeah, I think it was the last door. Alright. So, we're gonna turn those off. We're gonna turn these on. Actually, we don't have to, because there's a little trick you can do. Have these guys run in here. Uh, she should definitely carry the crystal, she's fast. her in here. Now since they're in these rooms we could turn them off and what we'll do is turn these on so now they can only spawn back here which means they'll be chasing me rather than being in my path which will make things so much easier. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Much better than my other dude. Run! Well done. Well done. What's her name? Sarah. Whatever her name is. Well done, whatever your name is. Way to carry that crystal. Sarah Numus. Yep, fresh cannon fodder. Alright, so that's uh, Dungeon of the Endless in a nutshell. Uh, I would recommend the game. It's pretty cheap, but it's challenging, interesting. Uh, fun mechanics, and you can play it multiplayer. I've actually had a lot of fun playing it multiplayer, although uh, right now you can't save the game multiplayer, which is a huge pain in the ass. So if you're going to play multiplayer, be ready to play for a while. Uh, invest some time so you can make through the dungeon. Because it does take a couple hours to get through all the levels. So, 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, thumbs up, play the game, or like it, whatever, don't play it. I don't care, whatever you guys want to do. Leave comments if you want, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys later.